deserves better. We've had enough. It's go time. I'm not a teacher. I want to make that clear. I am not here because I care about my pension or my job. I am here because I care about my democracy. My democracy is at stake. And I care about making sure that we have good, strong public schools. I care about making sure that we pay the people who teach our children well because we want quality people teaching our kids. We want to be able to recruit and continue to recruit quality teachers. We want to make sure that we keep the promise to fund their pensions because that's a promise that was made to them. That was part of their contract when they took their job 15, 20, 30 years ago, five years ago. We need to make sure that they continue to have access to a livable wage as well as benefits that will make them attracted to our to the position that is a very challenging and difficult position, especially these days when we cut funding to education so severely that their jobs are even harder and harder because we keep asking them to do more and more with less and less resources. And these teachers have so many educational requirements as well. They have master's degrees, they have doctorates, they have double and triple degrees. They go back for multiple certifications. We have to make sure that they are paid according to the education level that they attain. And we want quality teachers teaching our schools because education is the most important thing we can do for our the mess that we're in is to educate. So come on out to the Capitol, join me and all of these fellow teachers and parents and taxpayers and voters. Uh, another man we met coming in said he wasn't a, wasn't a teacher but he was a parent and a business owner. They know how it is that we take care of the people who spend money in their stores and take care of the people who educate their children. Kentucky is at a pivotal moment in history. We have the opportunity to bypass so many other states that have taken this privatization detour. The privatizers have been here for a while now. Through high stakes testing, they've been profiting off of our tax dollars and off of our children. Now they've, the Cokes have actually gotten here last year was the first year they paid to lobby in our state and we saw it with seven horrible bills at the beginning of last session that passed the first week you probably remember that those same kind of shenanigans are at play right now we have two days left uh, at the end of well we have one day left this session then they go on break but uh, over the weekend they will continue to be writing heinous heinous measures that they are going to try to include in the le legislation before this last day on Monday so that's why we're here today, is to make sure that they know that we will vote them out if they continue this line. Uh, the bill that they that they passed last night, uh, we're calling the sewer bill, among other things, because it was done uh, in, inside of a bill that was intended to be a sewer bill, from what I understand. And so they didn't even pass it honestly. If they can't pass legislation that they want passed through honest means, why do they have to lie to us? Why do they have to trick us? We should be asking our legislators why they have to lie to us and trick us to pass bills that are not in our best interest. If that's truly what they think we want, why aren't they open and honest about what they're doing? That is what I would like to know. So um, it's really noisy where the, where the crowd is, so I keep moving away from it, but I want you to see what's going on here. So I'm gonna turn the camera around one more time and then we'll live stream again later.